Hi, I'm Paul from the Studio Rats. In today's video, we're going to be looking at this, which is a Mesa Boogie Stiletto Ace 50 watt amplifier. And so this amplifier really has polling opinions where some people really don't like this amplifier and some people absolutely love this amplifier. Personally, I love this amplifier and I want to demonstrate in today's video how to get the most out of this amplifier because you can pick these up for an absolute bargain. Now this amplifier is an EL34 based amplifier. As I said, it's Mesa Boogie's take on a Marshall. It's built like an absolute tank. It weighs like an absolute tank. It is unbelievably heavy. But luckily with this amp, it comes with casters. So you can wheel it around wherever you go. And those casters are removable. So if you have it sort of permanently set up in a studio or you take it to a stage and you don't want it to be on the casters, you can take those casters off. I've set this amplifier up how I like it with a Strat style guitar and it's, it's got two channels. I've got a clean channel and we've got a dirty channel. The clean channel sounds like this. The clean channel of this amplifier doesn't sound like a Marshall style amplifier. It doesn't sound like an EL34 based amplifier. It's got really nice sort of glassy cleans. So as you can hear, I've set it up with just on the verge of breakup. So you've got just that little bit of grit in the background. This amplifier's got three different modes on each channel. So that's a fat clean, which works perfectly with a single coil style guitar. If you've got a humbucker style guitar, you can switch it to the next mode on the clean channel, which is tight clean. Again, I'll just demonstrate it with this guitar, but you can hear how pristine and clean you can get this amp. On that mode, as you can hear, it's got a really nice glassy sort of tone, something that's sort of similar to a Fender amp. The next mode on the clean channel is crunch. Now this is for if you want to run this amplifier as a sort of twin channel sort of drive amp. So all three modes of the clean channel sound absolutely fantastic. Right, let's move it over to the dirty channel. This channel's got three different modes. It's got the crunch channel, which is exactly the same as the crunch channel on the clean channel. It's also got tight gain, which is this one. And the last mode on the overdrive channel is called Fluid Drive. As you can hear, it's like a hot roddy Marshall. On the crunch channel, you've got like plexi sort of sounds. It can get quite bright and I'm gonna show that in a minute. The next mode is like that sort of high gain modded JCM 800. And then you go into more sort of Mesa Boogie territory with the fluid drive.
Now, if you read any guitar forums about this particular amplifier, you get a lot of comments where people say it sounds thin, it sounds fizzy. Now, I've demonstrated it definitely doesn't sound thin, it definitely doesn't sound fizzy. It's a really fantastic sounding amplifier. Now, when Mizubugi invented this amp, when they designed this amplifier, they didn't design it to be used at bedroom levels. Basically, the people that are giving these comments are people that are using it in their bedroom. Now, when you turn the master volumes up on this channel as it's designed for sort of stage loud volumes, that's when you start to get those really sort of nice, warm, saturated tones. But let me demonstrate what happens with this amplifier if I bring the master volumes down. As you can hear now, the high frequencies are really starting to poke through. Now, as I said, this amplifier is not designed to do that. It's meant to be driven at stage volumes. It's a 50 watt amplifier. That's what it's designed to do. So let's turn it back to how it's supposed to sound. I know I say this quite often, but you can honestly pick these amps up for a bit of a bargain. If you look around and you wait around, you can pick these up for around about sort of 600 pounds. Now, considering that when these amps came out, they were about 2000 pounds, it's an absolute steal. Now, these amps, as I said, are built like tanks. They're built by Mezabugi, and you know the quality of the Mezabugi build. They're just fantastic amplifiers. So if you're looking for an amplifier that you want to gig with, this amplifier is absolutely perfect. Now, if you're looking for a home amplifier, don't even think about buying one of these amplifiers because it's not designed for that. Go and buy something like a Boss Katana because you can drive it at any level and it still sounds great. With this amplifier, you really need to drive it. Anyway, I'm Paul from the Studio Rats. I really hope you guys got something out of this. If you did get something out of it, don't forget to like and subscribe, click on the bell button and you'll be notified of any future video that comes out from the Studio Rats. I'm Paul and I'll see you next time. Cheers.